As you just heard, Manitobans now have something to look forward to as the province unveiled its reopening plan for the summer. But what does this mean for small businesses who have been hit the hardest since the pandemic began? I think it's a step in the right direction. I think what's going to need to happen is there needs to be some details in regards to what it means when we get to the various stages or the various sort of milestones in terms of what reopening looks like. So that's the one part that I think, you know, we need to flesh out a little bit more and get some more detail on. But for the most part, I think this is something that's that's long overdue. Wayne Martin, chef owner of Capital Grill, called the details of the announcement vague. You know, I could get more information reading a People magazine in the back of a car than, than, than from them right now. We've been closed almost a year and a half. We've been through three waves, possibly a fourth, and I don't see any statistics where uh, restaurants are, are adding to, to the counts, the numbers. But it's a different story for people like travel agent Chris Lucas. As tough as this past year has been, he says it's a sense of excitement. And I wouldn't say we're out of the pond by any means or out of the storm by any means, but there's definitely now at this point kind of start putting things in order and planning for stuff because we can tie a little light there at the end of the tunnel. I think this could be it. Like we're, we're on our way. Prep hairstylist Chelsea Weeb says she just wants to get back into the salon and cut people's hair. The salon she works at has been on and off closed for months. I mean, it's nice to have some kind of reopening plan. Um, so far, we've kind of been just wondering when we are able to go back to work. It's been really hard on small business owners to yeah, be off work for this long. So it's nice to have some kind of reopening plan and I'm hopeful that we'll be able to get back to work this summer. Meanwhile, clinical psychologist Dr. Joanne Unger says the announcement is a positive step in the right direction, but the challenge is the unknown and the possibility of Manitoba not reaching its target goals. You know, thinking about what happens when that when those things aren't able, if those things aren't able to take place at the dates that's been set, that, that could be challenging for some people. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa City News.